Hello my beautiful hammerhead and welcome back to another video. In this one I'm quickly gonna recap the short stories 9 to 12 in the Dawnbringer campaign and it's a really short recap because almost nothing happens in them. So let's dive in. The first one is Dawnbringer Chronicles number 9, Wrath of the Forest, which is the short and sweet story of Drycha Hammerdreth in Gairan and this the events of this short story are right at the end of the assault of Fort Gardus under King Brod, his Mega Gargans, and all of the Iron Jaws. And, uh, well, she, of course, fights a little bit here and there against the Oruks, against some Gargans. And, well, she calls Tethomir, the White Sapling, a fool because she does not like to fight beside the cities of Sigma, because the cities of Sigma uh, cannoneers are lighting fire to the forest with their heavy artillery, which she then, well, immediately starts killing. And that's it, that's her story. Uh, this is one of the reasons why Fort Gardus fell, because she did not come to the aid of the cities of Sigma, the Stormcast Eternals and the Dawnbringer Crusade. She just left. And that's it. That's her story. Then comes Dawnbringer Chronicles Part 10, Last Flight of the Grimbar. And this is for... Uh, we had the Caradon Overlords under Admiral Krufin. And we only knew that they came, uh, the last 200 survivors with some of their airships, uh, only the small ones. And we just know that they came from Waldemann's Gap. This is the story. This is how they lost against Brod and his Mega Gargans and how they fled to Fort Gardus. Nothing really special happens here. It's only just the story, as I've said, of Admiral Krufin and his crew that we lost all our money, now we have to die in honor. Yeah, death before dishonor, like I said in the review for book number two. <laughs> but here it begins, Dawnbringer Chronicles number 11, Sundered Bonds. Ionis Cryptborn, one of the greatest characters, and his new found dragon friend, uh, Kuthorak, I hope that I pronounce his name correctly. I mean, just look at him. Awesome. They both are having a break. They're at the campfire, uh, roasting some meat and sharing it. And Kuthorak just asks Ionis about Vendus Hammerhand, because Kuthorak only knows him from stories and wants to know a little bit more of him. But the thing Ionis tells him is only the last time he saw Vendus and how they, well, went their ways apart. Which is a bittersweet story uh, because Ionis saved Vendus' life as he did not want Vendus to, well, be reforged again. But yeah, uh, like Astrea Soulbright, he now is on his way uh, throughout Chayish to find a way to uh, reverse the effects of the reforging process. So, uh, also, yeah, uh, as I've said, they are in Chayish and uh, Drycha and Admiral Krufin were in Gairan. And now we're going back to Gairan with Dawnbringer Chronicles Part 12, Spring the Trap. This is just also a short story of Belthanos, first thorn of Kernoth, and they are fighting against the Oziak Bone Reapers. We follow Aure, uh, one of the Gossamet archers, and how she pursues one of the cavalry forces of the Oziarks, how they're springing a trap for the Kernoth hunters, and so on. Nothing really special happens here as well, which is kind of sad. Um, of course, we get to know Belthanos a little bit 
not that much but yeah <laughs> that's basically just it that's the four short stories these are the short stories that came in between um book four uh book four i'm sorry book two and three um short story 13 is right after the pre-order date of uh, book three the long hunt so uh, i haven't looked at the story as of yet i only know that it's black talon beyond fire slide and there is a duel of kings short story number 14 but i don't know how much involved they are for uh, book three there might be something if yes i'm just gonna include these short stories in my review for book three um, because sadly i don't have as much time on my hand right now as i'm recording this so but yeah these short stories as i've said short nothing really happens which is sad um but yeah i this feels weird this is shut uh, this is such also a really short video right now leave your thoughts and questions in the comment section down below i am keen to know what you have to say <laughs> this feels so funny to me right now <laughs> uh, and while you're down there <laughs> Please remember to do all the YouTube stuff because hitting buttons is not only fun. Why? Because that way we can build a bigger community and talk more Warhammer almost every day. And by that I of course mean like and subscribe. But until then, have a great day my friend. Stay fantastic. Stay hydrated. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, I should press stop record.